Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính on Monday had talks in Hanoi with Cambodian counterpart Samdek Hun Manet, who was on a two-day visit to Vietnam, also his first to ASEAN's country. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính congratulated the significant achievements that the Cambodia government had attained, expressing confidence that under the leadership of Prime Minister Hun Manet, Cambodia could continue to achieve new milestones in the country's development. Prime Minister Hun Manet stressed that his official visit aimed to inherit the good traditions and promote the traditional friendship and comprehensive cooperation between the two countries to new heights. In terms of economic trade and investment cooperation, the two prime ministers agreed to support each other in building independence, self-reliance, internationally integrated and efficient economies. The goal is to achieve a bilateral trade turnover of 20 billion US dollars in near future. The Vietnam Innovation Network in Europe officially launched its operations in France at a ceremony held in Paris on December 10th. VNU is one of eight member networks of the Vietnam Innovation Network worldwide, with the missions are to gather Vietnamese knowledge in Europe and collaborative provide sustainable solution to challenges faced by Vietnam. At the launching ceremony in Paris, VNU President Phạm Huy Hoàng highlighted the significance of deploying activities in France, where many experts with extensive experience are actively working at research and educational institutes or major corporations and companies. As a network gathering experts in Europe, we are working with the overseas Vietnamese committee to implement specific plans in the near future. These plans, first of all, aim to support our intellectual class in Europe. Secondly, this also contributes to Vietnam's innovation sector. Delegates highlighted the importance of the network in maintaining relevant parties' exchanges, interaction, coordination and engagement in specific projects that align with Vietnam's needs. This approach aims to gather intellect and expertise from the Vietnamese diaspora in related fields to find suitable and cohesive deployment solutions. The Rice Road exhibition opened in December 11 in Hậu Giang Province as part of the International Festival of Vietnam Rice Industry Hậu Giang 2023. The event has the theme, Centennial Journey of Vietnamese Rice. The exhibition is one of the festival highlights, including image ranging from historic rice farming, recollections to modern practice. The show is held on a one-kilometer long road that runs alongside the Sa Nu Canal. The Vietnamese Rice Road has been meticulously arranged and recreated in a vast space. The Vietnamese rice map, which introduced various rice types from 63 provinces and cities around this country, is also shown on the road. Bắc Luân's second brick border gate officially open for tourists. such as for Vietnamese destination rocket by 300%. From December 11, tourists are officially allowed to travel through the Bucklin Second Brick Border Gate in the northern province of Guangning, which share the border line with the Guangxi Jiang, autonomous region of China. Under an agreement between the two sides, entry assist activities are allowed from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hanoi time or 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Beijing time. Tourists with a passport or travel pass can pass through the Buckland 2 gate. On November the 29th, Mong Kai City in Guangning and Dongxi City in Guangxi jointly held a ceremony to open the Buckland 2 bridge border gate which is expected to meet the increasing demand from people and businesses in the two countries. With Buckland 1 and Buckland 2 bridge border gates now in operation, 
Guangning Province has set a target of welcoming some two million international holiday makers this year. The number of uh, searches for tourist attraction in Vietnam by international tourists during 2023 has shot up by nearly three times year on year, according to a recent report by digital travel platform Agoda. The searches for travel destinations in Vietnam in 2023 have shot by 298% from a year earlier as shown in the 2023 search data report issued by Agoda on Thursday. The report showed the travel trends of international tourists to Vietnam along with those of Vietnamese travelers who want to explore global destinations. The top five countries with the most searches for Vietnamese destinations, including South Korea, America, Japan, Thailand, and Singapore, according to a statistic from the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism for the first 11 months of 2023, the five above countries were all in the group of large markets that send travelers to Vietnam in the same period. That's the end for today. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.